All right, so here is the cab binary pedal from Hot Tone. Um, this is a cabinet simulator, um, and that's done by using what are called impulse responses, or IRs. Uh, there are a hundred different impulse responses built into this one pedal by itself. And not only that, it has the ability to load in uh, external or third-party IRs. So if you have an impulse response from a favorite cabinet that you have, like let's say you have an EVH cabinet or something along those lines, and you want to load that impulse response into this pedal, you can do that by making use of the binary software that you can download from the Hot Tone website. So you want to download that uh, software, you want to make sure the firmware is up to date, and then from there, from that program, you'll be able to load your own IRs in and you can expand the memory or expand the experience, if you will. Uh, and the, the thing about the binary, about the cab pedal itself, is that really there is a lot under the hood here. Uh, there are a hundred different cabinets to work with. And I, that's right, I said 100. So just think about any kind of cabinet you've ever wanted to own. Very likely it's in this pedal. So you may not really have to worry about loading your own IRs, but that function is there uh, regardless. So let's just go through the, uh, the parameters here of the pedal because it is a bit more in depth than the amp pedal. Um, and uh, let's, start with the, uh, let's start with the basics. So to move up and down on, through the patches, you can just use the up and down the foot switches here to the left and the right. Um, you can also do that with the up and down the plus and minus buttons here as well. Um, and over here, uh, the, it's all powered with the OLED display. Now, before I get into all the other parameters, here's a couple of things, a couple of quick functions just to take note of. One is that it has a bypass feature, which is done by pressing uh, both of the buttons simultaneously. That puts it into bypass mode, as you can see. To turn it back on, just press any of the other buttons and it turns right back on. Now, another thing it also does is it mutes. So if you press and hold the foot switches down uh, for uh, approximately two seconds, it will send the pedal into mute mode, so no signal will pass through. So let's go ahead and bring that one back online here. There we are. Um, okay, so uh, let's go through the uh, functions here, or the, the parameters up here at the top, the knobs, and then we'll go through everything that's around the OLED display. Uh, volume, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just like the amp pedal though, you can see that the preset Whatever the preset was set at, in this case it was this patch uh, had a, a, a value, a volume value at 89. Um, it is reflected on the bottom part of the display there. Um, now you also have the mic positioning, and this is a very cool feature because you essentially have an X and Y axis uh, for your different mics, um, and uh, or for a mic, and the Z knob uh, handles the distance of the mic to the speaker cap. So you can change the uh, positioning of the X and Y axis, and then you can change the distance. So you can keep it right up close if you want to, or you can take it all the way to the back and make it more of, a, of an ambient mic, if you will. Now over here to the far right, we have the mic model, uh, the mic type knob, and this is used to select one of 10 different microphones that comes included with the cabinet uh, pedal here. So if we go to uh, we just start making movements here. Uh, we have it set to off. Um, going up from there, we have a Shure Dynamic 57. Uh, we have a 58. These are tried and true microphones that have been used on so many recordings. Uh, we have a Sennheiser uh, MD421. We have an Electro Voice RE16. Uh, we have the uh, AKG D112. Uh, we have a uh, Sennheiser E609, um, a Shure Beta 87A, um, a Neumann uh, U87, we have a Royal uh, R121, another, uh, another Neumann here, the uh, U67, and then the Phase Invert, which is just uh, simply uh, another setting that you can select. So each one of these, each one of these uh, microphones will give you a completely different timbre. Uh, and a different tone. So I'll, I'll go through some of those when we, when we start uh, messing around with the cabinets here. So from there we have the uh, plus and minus buttons like we did with the amp pedal and that's used to move up and down the different uh, cabinets that are included. 
Uh, we have the save and exit button, um, which is used to, well, self-explanatory, save your patch and exit from the screens. Um, but we also have a global, pat, a global button here. And the global button allows you to turn on the different types of power amps uh, to alter the presence and to enter in room amount. So room amount is uh, the room ambience. So you can have uh, zero ambience, which means it's going to be dry as a bone. Um, and, uh, or you can go to something a little more extreme, like, say, uh, setting number nine, which is very far back from the, uh, from the speaker itself. So that, in that introduces some natural reverb into the signal. And I'll give you some examples of what that sounds like. So uh, I think without further ado, let's go ahead and just uh, give you a little taste of the amp here, uh, or the cabinet pedal, I should say. So we have a, uh, we have the Brit lead, um, we have the Brit uh, uh, lead amp on the amp pedal here, um, and that one is a uh, JCM 800, and that is going through to the cab pedal where we have the Brit lead 4x12. Um, and so you're going to get a pretty open sound here. So let's go ahead and turn up and uh, give you a couple of audio examples. Okay, so uh, just kind of a quick, you know, quick and dirty example there. Uh, a couple things you can do to alter the sound or alter the volume. Uh, obviously, you can uh, alter the volume on the uh, amp pedal to give you a different sound, uh, to give you a little more amplitude. Uh, you can also go to the uh, volume knob here on the cab pedal. And you can make adjustments there. Uh, a couple of other things here is now you can start messing around with the uh, mic types. So um, let's go to let let's have a listen to what happens to the cab pedal as we change the mic types. So let's start with uh, just none. Okay, so not very exciting there, but let's go ahead and go to the SM57. All right, let's continue it and let's go to the SM58, which has a different texture to it. As you can hear, it's a bit brighter. Um, and now let's go ahead and continue on here, and let's move to the to the next mic, uh, which would be the Sennheiser uh, MD421. Okay, so in that case, it's it's quite a bit more uh, rounded. Um, it has a bit more low end, a little more uh, mid mid range to it. So it's not quite as brassy as say the uh, SM57. Um, and uh, let's keep going here. So we'll go to the Electro Voice uh, RE16. <laughs> Okay, how about we try that with the mic off this time? <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and go... Okay, so the 421 has a much more rounded sound to it. Um, let's go ahead and keep going here, and we're going to move to the... Uh, we're going to move to the Electro Voice uh, RE16. Okay. 
Okay, that has obviously a much different uh, texture to it. Um, let's keep going. The AKG D112. <laughs> Obviously, that one is a lot darker uh, in nature, so let's keep going. Uh, the next one up is the Sennheiser uh, E609. Little brighter but not quite as bright again as the um, as the uh, shores so uh, we'll keep going here to the beta 87a <laughs> Continuing on, let's move to the U87. All right, much different, a lot darker. Um, so let's keep going and uh, let's go to the Royal uh, 121. <laughs> Getting so many tones here. It's crazy. Uh, okay, moving along here. Neumann uh, U67. <laughs> Well, I hope you are hearing the differences here as we're going through it. So if you're not, make sure that you're putting on a good pair of headphones and, or using a good pair of speakers. Because if you're just using little tiny computer speakers, yeah, that's going to be a little difficult to actually tell the difference as we go through these. Okay, so now that we've gone through the microphones, let's go through the, uh, let's go through the power amp models. Now, there are eight of them to choose from, uh, and they can be accessed by way of the global buttons. You just simply go and choose the one you want. So without a power amp type, you get something that sounds like this. Not very exciting, right? So let's go ahead and what I'll do is I'll just mute the microphone and we'll just go through the different power amps uh, bit by bit here so you can hear for yourself.
All right. So those are the power amps. Now, there are, as I mentioned, eight of them, um, and they, they vary from uh, single-ended to push-pull. Uh, push-pull obviously serves a much different purpose, um, and uh, you can certainly look the differences up on, on the web there so you can uh, read up on all of it. Uh, seriously, if we sat here talking about push-pull, we could be here until tomorrow doing it. Um, all right. Well, without further ado, let's do a couple of other things here. Now that we've got a, a power amp that we're happy with, Oh, actually, you know, before we get into the, the microphone placement, let's just do that, that ambience thing really quick and the presence thing, just so you can hear the difference here. So uh, what I'll do is go back into the guitar here and uh, make some adjustments to that by way of the global button. So we just press global twice to get to the presence, and uh, we can make some adjustments. All right. <laughs> So hopefully you're hearing that. It's a little more brightness uh, is being added to the sound here. Uh, let's keep going here and go to the global three times. Press on it three times, and now we get to the room amount. And this is where we can get a bone dry sound, or we can put a lot of ambience in there. So let's start with off. And uh, what I'll do at this point is just play and make some adjustments as we go along. All right, so those, that's, the, uh, that's the room ambience there. Um, so now let's make some adjustments to mic placement here. Um, so I'll play uh, a little bit here and then work with the X and Y uh, knobs first, and then we'll work with the uh, Z knob, okay? <laughs> Now, if you want to know exactly where the microphone is being placed, uh, simply refer back to the manual. Um, also, if you plug in the um, if you plug in the cabinet uh, to your computer and you load up the binary software, you can actually make those changes in real time just by simply clicking and dragging the the, the microphone around. But now, what we've got here is we've got kind of a lively sound, um, and we can use the Z knob here to move the microphone further away from the speaker or closer to it. So let's try that. <laughs>
You know, it's kind of amazing when you listen to this because with that room ambience, you're creating natural reverb. It doesn't sound um, artificial in any way. It sounds very, very real. And that's because these speakers were simply sampled. So you're really hearing the speaker. You're, not, you're hearing a sample. You're not hearing modeling. You're not hearing anything of that nature. What you're actually hearing is the actual sample of the speaker. And so when you do that, you get a much more accurate representation. Uh, so it's, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, but that's, in a nutshell, what the cabinet pedal is all about. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll zoom back out, and we'll put both the amp, both the amp pedal and the cab pedal together, and we'll make some adjustments so that you can hear... Uh, a specific type of amp with a specific type of cabinet. All right, as you can see, we now have the amp and the cab pedal side by side. We've also got the amp pedal uh, turned on with the speaker, uh, with the cabinet simulator turned on, and we have the cab pedal um, in bypass mode. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to match, uh, we're going to give you a demo of the uh, Area 51 uh, amp with the cab sim from the amp pedal as a reminder and then switch over to the cab pedal, at which point we'll turn off the cab simulator on the amp pedal and let the cab pedal do all of the cabinet uh, work with the Area 51, um, with the Area 51 uh, cabinet. All right, so let's give it a shot. Now here's really where the fun starts because that's a cap that what we're working with here is a 4x12. What we're working with here is a 2x12, but hey, would you look at that? Let's move up one and now we've got a 5154x12. How about that? And the fun doesn't stop there. There's actually another uh, uh, cabinet here from PV. Um, the first one here, this is a PV 5150, uh, 2x12, and then the Area 53, this is a, an EVH uh, 5150 Mark III. But now we've got the 6505 from PV as Area 65. So let's have a listen to that. So what, what I'm getting at here is that you can work with the amp pedal by itself and use the cabinet simulator, but you're just stuck with that one cabinet. You can't do anything with it. You can't change it. But you can come over here and get a remarkably similar sound, albeit the, the, uh, amps, uh, the levels need to match a little bit in amplitude-wise. But you can go so much further then at that point because I can take this cabinet and now I can go into the global and I can assign a power amp to it. I can assign more presence to it, or I can give it some room amount because there wasn't any room amount before. That was all bone dry. So we can get something that sounds kind of like this.
yourself into a whole heap of trouble real quick here. Um, but it doesn't stop there. You could go and you can actually start making changes to the microphone. So you could go to a completely different sound if you wanted to. Um, I, I don't know why you'd want to go to a U87, but if it was really what you wanted to do, you could get something that sounds a little like this. Well, I hope you're uh, kind of seeing the picture here of what you can do. Um, and this isn't where it stops. This is where it starts. Uh, there's so much you can do. Uh, as I mentioned before, there are a hundred different cabinets in here. So you don't necessarily have to have a 5150 ca amp go into a 5150 cabinet. You could switch up and you could go to, say, um, you could go over to, uh, let's see if I can find one here. You can go over to a British, uh, a British uh, 4x12. Uh, let's have a listen to that. Right. Well, that pretty much does it for what you can do with the uh, amp and the cab pedals from Hot Tone. Uh, these pedals are just fantastic. Uh, you get a lot of bang for the buck. Um, I hope throughout this whole video you've seen the value that you can get from these guys. There, there's a lot of bang for the buck here. We carry them at the pedal guy. We do quite well with them at the pedal guy. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, by all means, just shoot us a message via the uh, the YouTube video, um, or you know, just simply email us at the website, and we'll help. It will help you out. Uh, but for more information on this pedal, or these pedals, and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, and have a great day.